Um, hello there. Uh, today I want to show you another uh, custom or complex parametric uh, Revit family uh, similar to IKEA PEX. Uh, so we can start. Here I have, I have um, created Revit family which when I open this uh, in edit types and I have created all these kind of uh, parameters. So this data is just like uh, formulas, so we don't have to uh, change them or anything else. So I can uh, hide it. Uh, so this other is also just uh, data and this kind of this one too and this all is everything you can change and uh, everything then uh, it will be according your ideas changed uh, so if we start uh, base materials it's like it's everything uh, base uh, inside you can see this wood so if i change it this uh, birch for for example something white yeah, so it will automatically change uh, this one inside, yes. So door is uh, basically this door, this door, okay, I will try to rotate it a little. Mm -hmm. This door is uh, everything uh, is a material on door and on the sides and on the top. So we can change it also, for example. I don't know something crazy you can see yeah so uh, handle is this handle is a changeable for example birch yeah um, this forging if if I turn uh, hangers it will pop up on the yes here and forging is this uh, forge of the hangers and this uh, stick is forging so if i change it for example to a little dark it should change this here yeah as you can see so hanger is this so let uh, it be birch so i um uh, change this door a little more uh, normal color okay so for example here uh, ni nice and uh, I will change back a uh, base for birch nice okay this is basically this is depth so it's basically if i change it to for example one one thousand two hundred it will be more depth you can easily change everything um, this is height for example two thousand or one thousand eight you can see uh, we will um, fix it it's uh, really easy okay make it like um, 2000 for now we will show how to change this oops like this okay with also if i change it to 900 it will change all door also so it will be everything is to 900 now and this is the uh, most exciting part or more most hard to do it was a very complex and uh, hard process but now i can close door just with change angle so you can change it for anything you want from 0 to 170 180 it's up to you for example 40 degrees it's, this is best thing here I think it was hardest but uh, if you this is now million possibilities with this 
So now height from bottom to hangers is uh, from the bottom to the here is 2000. So if I change it, for example, higher than the uh, height, so it will be uh, automatically put back to max maximum is to to the height. So if I ch make it like 3000, it won't go upper. Yes, you can see. So leave it at 2000. And uh, this is height from the bottom. So from the bottom to the display, make it like 1000 for example yeah, as you can see i will open this a little so we will see a little more from inside yeah nice so this is a height of the handle we can make it like 100 yes nice and easy okay number of drawers it's four if i change it for six it will it, it will be six here nice so if i change this to more up uh, upper place it uh, will be t6 yes yeah, we can see number of hang hangers i put two types of hangers so it uh, it, it will be a little uh, be more interested so if i change it for two and one it will be like here and here yeah maybe it's five and six you can really just try some numbers and it will it will see and it will be a great so if i this need to put a little lower so you can put close here maybe uh, 600 and put three drawers yes nice and easy okay visibility all uh, this is door handle from opening from left and uh, door opening from left is the, this so if i change it for right it it will be automatically on the left side as you can see so you can make it from left from right it's up to you if i unclick this it's just handle will be invisible yes same here so i can also make if i make it to zero angle just closed uh, wardrobe or IKEA packs. Okay, so if I turn this on, okay, hangers are also inside. You can turn off these hangers and display it. It's just uh, some interesting, as you can see here, the hangers out. So this is it, and this is all you can. Uh, you can change everything uh, according these edit types and uh, parameters. If you want to have this uh, Revit family, just uh, click in the description. I have a link there for download it. It's, it, it, it was the most complex Revit family I ever created. So if you want to um, have this uh, in your Revit family library, so just click and you can download it download it for a few uh, dollars and uh, uh, i hope you will like it and uh, thank you for your time